Thank you, Bhakti. About you, sir. Just very quickly to respond uh, to both those questions. I'm not sure I'm qualified to answer the second question. I'm not uh, very familiar with how the ASEAN mechanism works. But I think in terms of the first question and, and uh, the, the issues raised by, by our Rohingya friend, I think it's important, uh, it's a re very important reminder of the, the real, very real human impact of this issue. Uh, and this is an issue that has frustrated and uh, uh, really impacted on a community over m multiple decades. And I certainly, as a person who comes from a position of privilege, can't really relate to that level of frustration, that level of not being able to move forward uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. We try our best to engage with these issues, and, and we appreciate people like you being brave enough to speak about uh, the impact this has on your lives and your community. And I try to say this without sounding patronizing. I'm sorry if I do. Uh, but it's very important for us not to to lose that. Uh, I think this issue, it's on the one level, it's a, it's a l very technical, legal, policy level issue. On another level, it's, it's an issue of, of politics, uh, national politics, regional politics, international politics. But on another level, it's a very human issue. And uh, something that I learned from my father, who none of you know, uh, is that sometimes when you have problems that seem really big and impossible to deal with, start with the small things, with human relations, with helping one person, with, with doing what you can at a small level. And if we can collectively do that, you, you begin to chip away at the problem and create an environment where what seemed impossible five years ago suddenly becomes possible. Uh, I think we all need to remind ourselves of the fact that this issue impacts a particular community in a very fundamental way, and we have an obligation as human beings to try and respond to that. Um, thank you, Amal. Uh, 